Welcome back to Football Friday Night. Turnover, obviously a big part of high school football, but it's taken to the extreme at Grovetown. Yes, with so many military families living in the area, there's the chance of athletes coming or leaving at any point, which can be difficult in ways, but Grovetown's football program welcomes its military identity. Star-striped helmets, a military transporter flies overhead practice, since opening in 2009, Grovetown has embraced Fort Gordon and its military families, especially ones just relocating. You know, they don't have an option as a kid, you know. Their, their parent is told by, by our military who does so much for us, they've got to do something, we've, we've got to help them out. And changing schools can be difficult, making new friends, finding people to relate to, so sports like football can be great for accomplishing just that. Fort Gordon being so close, we just have a lot of people coming in, and so having that connection with them already when you come to the school is a great thing. When I first moved here, I, it was kind of different because I used to be on military bases all my life, and it's kind of nice to have other people to relate to me. It's nice to know that there's people like you and understand what military life is like, and knowing that they have the same issues that you do in the military and your family. Over half the players have family members who have served or are serving in the military, so there's always the chance of players coming and going. But head coach Rodney Holder says the positives outweigh the negatives. We'll lose a kid here and there just because of parents, based on where they're at in their career, have to move. But we've gained way more athletes, especially in football, than we have lost. Grovetown was also one of the CSRA's first schools to use Huddle, a program typically used in recruiting, but Holder adopted it for military purposes. We needed to send this stuff overseas to Iraq and Afghanistan, to Germany, to Kentucky, to Kansas, to wherever these kids, Maryland, wherever they might be or their parents might be. You know, it was amazing. You know, to get an email from a guy who's over in Iraq and said, hey, thanks for letting me watch my kids' game. And it's rewarding for the players to represent the military, too. We own, take pride in our military because it's own. They do everything they can for us. We own, make sure we send national anthem every time. And, this, and they do it. Without, th without them, we wouldn't be playing. And Grovetown opens its season at Harlem two weeks from tonight. Yeah, pretty cool, especially that they get to see their kids playing from overseas. That's I know, awesome. the huddle thing, yeah, I know, that's used a lot in recruiting, but to see it used that way is really rewarding. Awesome. Well, we got pro football tonight, too, both the Falcons and Panthers playing their preseason openers. Great start for the Falcons in Atlanta in the unofficial first game for new head coach Dan Quinn. Pre and here's Matt Ryan finding Julio Jones on their first drive. Jones with seven catchers, four receptions, excuse me, for 61 yards and a TD on the first drive. Titans number one pick, Marcus Mariota, having some early troubles. He already had thrown an interception. He fumbles that one. Paul Warlow took it in for the touchdown. The Falcons get their win in their preseason debut, 31-24 the final in that one. Preseason opener for the Panthers seen earlier tonight here on WJBF News Channel 6, taking on Buffalo. Cam Newton plays into the second quarter, looking deep for Ted Ginn Jr., who's back with the squad. That's a catch, 38 yards. It would set up this. Cam Newton lofts it up to Kelvin Benjamin. Nice catch by the second-year guy. Was a rookie feed on last year. Makes the play. Panthers rally late, and they beat the Bills 25-24 the final in that one. Well, we have a lot more coming up the rest of the season on Football Friday Night. Good to, things, good to get things kicked off tonight. Well, and tonight's exciting because I was telling you when I came back, I was at Lakeside and Greenbrier, and those stadiums were pretty much full like it was any other game. I mean, yeah. you, you couldn't tell that it was just a <laughs> scrimmage night, but it'll be fun to get going next Friday. Yeah, night. no such thing as just a scrimmage around here. Yeah. Lots of teams calling tonight the unofficial kickoff. I heard Rick Knight earlier say it's the walkthrough before we get to the regular season. Yes. Um, so obviously lots of lots of fun things to watch this year and we'll be here every Friday night at 11:35 with Football Friday night all the highlights for you every time. Before we go tonight, it's another one of the staples of Football Friday night. Each week we feature an area band putting on a show for their halftime or for their home fans at halftime. Here's a look at some of the best of the bands from 2014. We'll see you next week. Uh -huh.